we are told that dead works must be repented of. Now, there's another distinction. The scripture talks about dead works, okay? Hebrews 6, 1. Therefore, leaving the principles of the doctrine of Christ, let us go on unto perfection, not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith toward God. Okay, so it's my assessment that works are dead due to the lack of godly faith when performed. Okay, an example, an unregenerate man, a man who's not saved, who has not the Holy Spirit, who does not know God, right? His works, even his daily rituals, daily works are wicked in the sight of the Lord. Proverbs 21, 4. A high look and a proud heart in the plowing of the wicked is sin. I don't think that's just symbolic talking about uh, someone's lifestyle. Even a man, unregenerate man's daily works are uh, wicked in the sight of God and they're not pleasing to him. And why would that be? Because he doesn't please God. He's blasphemed God. He's broken his rules. So anything he does, be like a man who stands before a king, he's condemned for killing his daughter. So he brings a birthday cake. He says, well, I know I killed your daughter, but here, here's a cake. Here, here's, here's a present. What would the king do? Would he be pleased with that work? Would he be pleased with that present? No. And an unregenerate man is not pleasing to God. So even his daily rituals of taking care of his family is wickedness in God's sight.